No war has captivated the mind of Americans more than the Second World War. Thousands of books and films have told and retold the story of America's epic war against the forces of tyranny. The colossal naval battles in the Pacific and the bloody sacrifice of 41,000 U.S. troops to beat back Japan's aggression have received much attention. Even more popular in the nation's memory are the D-Day landings and the advance of Patton's Third Army across northern France and the fierce contest in the Battle of the Bulge. Historians and filmmakers have rightly celebrated the heroic achievements of those storied elements of our armed forces, and yet have overlooked the equally important contributions of many other American units in the great arena of World War II. Among those overlooked are the men of the U.S. 7th Army, who landed on the Mediterranean coast of France in August 1944, and fought their way north to link up with Patton's 3rd Army and attack the Siegfried Line. The 7th Army was built on the 3rd, 36th, and 45th Infantry Divisions, which had fought in North Africa and Italy before being tasked with the liberation of southern France. While the 3rd Army was led by the headline-grabbing George Patton, the 7th Army was led by the cool and unassuming General Alexander Patch, who led more than 100,000 American soldiers up the Rhone River Valley and fought bloody battles in the Vosges Mountains to become the first Allied general to reach the Rhine River. The men of the 7th Army overwhelmed the Siegfried Line in the south and were the first to discover Germany's grisly Jewish death camps in Landsberg and accomplished the liberation of the remaining prisoners of Dachau when they took Munich. The 7th Army's successful campaign came at the cost of tens of thousands of U.S. servicemen's lives, but that sacrifice has been overlooked. The 7th Army has lived under the shadow of the D-Day landings and the march through northern France for 75 years. But a number of historians have sought to recognize the important sacrifices and contributions of the 7th Army. Now, filmmakers Mark McClure and Doug Stebbleton, along with an expert team of historians, seek to bring long overdue recognition to the 7th Army through the film Sword of Freedom, the unsung heroes of the liberation of France. The film will present the history of the 7th Army's campaign from its commencement with Operation Dragoon on August 15, 1944, and continue with its valiant fight north to and through the Vosges Mountains, across the Rhine River, and its final victories with the taking of Nuremberg and Munich by May 1945. Americans will come to learn of the airborne landings at Lemuy and the ferocious battles in the Vosges Mountains including Remiermont, saint de Trentrux, Fremifontaine, Hurlesheim, and the Peroy Forest. The history of the 7th Army includes fierce battles and extreme acts of heroism, including those of famous Medal of Honor winner Audie Murphy and more than 20 other recipients of the nation's most prestigious military honor. The filmmakers are excited to feature the contributions of some segments of the U.S. population not generally included in the popular treatment of World War II. Native Americans, both tribal and ethnic, made up a large portion of the 45th Infantry Division. Based out of Oklahoma, these soldiers distinguished themselves in combat, rendering ludicrous Hitler's dismissive statements about the division when he learned of its composition. Stories such as Mexican-American Medal of Honor recipient Lucien Adams, dubbed the Texas Tornado, speak to the contribution of Hispanic Americans. The better-known Japanese Americans of the 442nd Regimental Combat Unit, the most decorated unit in World War II, and their heroic actions in the Vosges Mountains is a story of unparalleled sacrifice. African-American quartermaster troops made critical contributions to the mobility of the campaign as supply lines stretched 700 miles north during the fall of 1944. And in March 1945, three companies of newly activated black combat troops participated in the 7th Army's invasion of Germany, during which Edward Carter performed heroic actions that earned him the Silver Star and later the Medal of Honor. In addition to telling the stories of American troops, Sword of Freedom will include the contributions of the French First Army and French Free Forces, which fought with the U.S. 7th Army and whose history is not well known to Americans. Most overlooked in the history of World War II is the role of the 56,000 members of the Army Nurse Corps. Sword of Freedom will include the contributions and experiences of nurses attached to the 7th Army and the role they played in operating mobile hospitals as the Army fought through enemy-occupied territory. 
The film will also examine the enduring relationship that the war forged between French and American communities. That relationship is told through the history of the Epinal and Rhone American cemeteries, where French families have adopted the more than 6,000 U.S. soldiers buried in them and annually honor those men sacrificed during America's observance of Memorial Day and other times of the year. The film will interweave archival footage and photographs from U.S. and French archives with interviews with veterans and civilians, along with interviews with our team of expert historians, including Alex Kershaw, Scott McGaw, James Scott Wheeler, Barbara Tumblin, Mark Calhoun, David Colley, Herman Viola, Fred Borch, and Philippe Esflin. Production of the film begins this summer, with filmed interviews in France during events marking the 75th anniversary of Operation Dragoon and release is anticipated in May 2020 to mark the 75th anniversary of the Allied victory in Europe. The long overdue recognition of the 7th Army is an ambitious project with a substantial budget. The film requires the generous contribution of patriotic hearts who are willing to see the project through to completion. All donations to the film qualify as tax-deductible contributions through our fiscal partner, Global Film Fund. Please select the Donate Now link or visit our Facebook page, Sword of Freedom Film, to play a role in paying honor to the neglected history of the men and women of the 7th Army.